garden. So today I thought that I would show you how to plant. These are uh, seeds that I purchased online. And this is for laburnum anagiroids golden chain trees actually. I'll show you what it looks like and, and these trees get pretty big but they have the flowers, they grow like wisteria flowers. Um, instead of purple they're yellow. So I got these online and I'm just following the directions on what I need to do. Um, it did say that I needed to boil the water and then once I boil the water I'm going to put the seeds uh, put the water on the seeds. Um, I guess they must be probably a little tough and maybe that kind of helps them to soften them up and I have to leave them there for about five minutes. So I am boiling the water here. So as you can see, I think that's almost ready. Um, and as soon as that is done, so I'm going to take my seeds and guys, I'm also having my coffee this morning and then look at this coffee. Um, container right so my brother actually ordered this for me um, I thought it was so cool um, he used the photo that I have on our Facebook um, my husband and I and and now I, everywhere that I go I take my coffee cup with me so I, I think it's it's just so personal it's just so nice of him to to do this for my for me and my husband um, so I want to also say thank you thank you so much and I use it every day so I drink my coffee every day. So I'm going to add the seeds. I'm just going to put the seeds in this container that I have here and I am going to use all of them. Any other time I may have probably split the packet uh, but there's just so few on there that I'm going to use all of them and then my water is ready. So I'm going to turn my water off and then I am going to soak them for five minutes and we'll see what we get within um, in five minutes. Hey okay, guys, so five minutes have passed by and I see something amazing but I think with the boiling water um, it allows some of these seeds to open up just a little bit and it's just kind of strange but I'll show you a close-up of this. dry dry and then once you put the boiling water then uh, for some reason maybe that just made it more visible um, but that's a good sign because again that's a starting place right there but if that uh, root or that seed has opened up already now I want to tell you guys that I am doing this only because I have the greenhouse so I will be storing these seeds in the greenhouse um, in a few minutes. We'll walk down that way and I'll, and I'll show you how I'm going to plant this. Uh, but I wouldn't try this right now if you don't have a greenhouse. Um, this is a process that you do in early spring. Um, so if you guys, you know, want to think about starting to plant some of your um, some of your seeds that you have ordered or, you know, you're waiting to, to see, definitely wait till early spring. And then keep them in the house for a couple of weeks and then as soon as you know it, it, the temperature rises up I guess about over 50 degrees uh, 50 55 and then you can take your plants outside so I wouldn't try this at home now okay so so I'm going to the greenhouse guys so follow me and we'll finish this process over there greenhouse now and I've got my seeds remember that we poured the boiling water um, so the seeds actually 
Okay, they're not that big. They're pretty tiny. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I've got four containers already here. I'm using light soil, um, and then it's got perlite in there, so that way you can absorb some of the moisture. And I'm going to plant maybe about five or six on each of the containers. And then what I'll do is probably maybe put a plastic over it um, just to give it that humidity so we can grow a little faster. Or I have my grow light in here. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So here's my grow light. And actually I want to thank my brother-in-law um, for providing this for me. Um, so this is a very cool um, grow light. And it just helps my plants grow a little faster. It gives them that lighting that they need the extra lighting um so i might probably just put them under that so for now all i have to do is again take one seed put it in probably about a quarter inch in the container so i'm taking just one seed and planting i'm gonna do with this one because it's stuck in my fingers um and then I will keep an eye on the containers and every now and then just peek in just to try to see what's happening. So I think I've got about six or seven here. And that's okay because later on I'm going to divide this. Once they get large enough, I will put them in their own individually little pods. So I've purchase these little pods and then I just I can transplant the plant itself into here or actually I could plant one in here and the seed in here I could do that and then just place it in here but I will have to label them um, so I have to make sure that so all of these move them closer to here and that's that and then these will be the um, the tree that I'm planting in here. Um, I'm just going to do two or three of them. Um, and then that way, I have different options, right? So I've got the option of planting them in here. And actually, so I have different varieties. So I have a couple planted in here. I planted quite a few in there already. I have some in these pods. And now, let me continue on here and place these in here. Guys, this is not easy because the soil keeps getting stuck to my fingers. So, I need, and I need to make sure that those seeds are planted in far down enough. Um, I think it was a great idea that they asked to, um, to boil the water first because that softened up the seeds and that's going to kind of rush the process. Um, I think, I mean, you probably didn't have to boil the water, but it would have probably taken longer for your seeds to come in. Um, and you always have to be careful with that because uh, the seeds could rot if they spend too much time in the container and nothing is happening. Um, so you definitely want to keep an eye on that. You know, you can even, um, put your seeds to just uh, overnight, maybe two or three days um, in a container and your seeds will also, so you'll be helping your seeds, um, helping that process to get those roots out as soon as, uh, sooner than later. So I'm almost done here. And I think I got just about all the seed guys. There's no more in here. So I'm going to have to label them because a week or two from now, I'm not going to remember what I planted here, the same way I planted these. And guys, look at this. This is that canna that I planted, and that was straight from the seeds. Actually, I started this process also with in water. These have been in water for probably two weeks, actually more than two weeks. And because canna seeds are so hard, um, the seed pod themselves, look, the root is coming through. So I'll be able to also plant these here and I'll have um, more cannas for the uh, summertime. I'll put them out in the springtime. 
but then I would have put it in flower pots itself and they'll look really nice. So then I'm just going to use this same water, that's okay. Um, actually, I'm going to pour it right over on here. I want to be able to that keep that soil moisture. And I'll just pull that one there. So, as you can see, guys, I planted my seeds already. Um, I'm just going to come back later on and just put a plastic over them. I can actually use a Ziploc uh, bag, and then just put the zip, you know, put the container in, zip it up, and every now and then just peek in and see how it's doing. And within a couple of weeks, we should be able to see again to see uh, something coming in already. So at that point time, um, I'll show you guys, give you, uh, show you pictures of, of what it looks like. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, again, don't try this at home right now, guys, because if you don't have the greenhouse um, at home in the house, is the temperature is a little more different. These need to be, definitely have little bit more warmth you need a little more humidity and I've got all that I've got my heater I'll be able to miss them here and I'll be able to just you know go along with that process in here in the greenhouse so it's more reasons for you guys to go out there and you know what be adventurous get a greenhouse also if you have the space um, if you guys have seen my episode where I talk about the greenhouse and you know what it takes to maintain a 10 by 12 greenhouse um, just definitely look at that video and just get an idea of what you're looking at for the cost and the time and the maintenance. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, and don't forget to like. I'll see you guys later. Bye.